Dr. Joe Brown here. I had an email uh, specifically regarding why is it so important to be eating organic foods versus inorganic foods versus going to a farmer's market and things like this. So I uh, just wanted to take a short period of time here and kind of answer that question for her. Um, the question was, is why is it so vitally important? Why is everybody telling you to have organic uh, fruits and vegetables and go to farmer's markets versus buying just the regular stuff on the grocery shelves? Here's kind of the here's kind of the situation. What's happened over the last 20, 30 years, and especially in the last 10, 15 years, is you have farmers who are obviously they're spraying their, their pesticides and their herbicides because they're trying to keep off bugs off the crops so they have more crops that they can sell and things like this to the market. They make more money and income in the long run. But the problem is, is that these pesticides and herbicides, quite frankly, a lot of them are very, very toxic. And what they've been doing in the last 15, 20 years is they've been adding synthetic chemicals into that pesticides and herbicides so that when that crop duster is spraying all their fruits and vegetables on the farmer's land, the organic substance that they're using with the pesticides and herbicides, the synthetic substance, it actually prevents water from rinsing the pesticides and herbicides off. So what happens is when you get home from buying all of your foods from the grocery store, these pesticides and herbicides are not coming off of your fruits and vegetables. So you can sit there and wash them and kind of scrub them, but it's not really coming off too well. And that's why, you know, next time you go to the grocery store, feel the cucumbers, feel the apples, feel some of the fruits and vegetables that you're buying, the eggplants and things. And you're gonna notice like a waxy type of feeling on them. That waxy substance is not the fruit and vegetables. That's actually that pesticide or herbicide synthetic chemical that's not coming off of there. And if you notice, if you rinse it, it's not coming off of there either. So number one, what we need you to preferably be doing is always buying organic when you can, okay? And organic doesn't mean that it's pesticide or herbicide free. It means that it should, should not be being sprayed, okay? Kind of a double negative there, but it shouldn't be being sprayed with pesticides and herbicides. What happens is that a lot of the organic areas of the farms are right next to all the inorganic areas of the farm. So when the crop dusters are spraying the, the regular crops, the wind blows some of these pesticides and herbicides onto this area of the organic uh, fruits and vegetables. So you definitely need to be washing any of your vegetables very, uh, very good. And what we usually recommend people to do is Fill up your sink with about 50% water uh, and then about 50% vinegar and then put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in there as well and let your stuff soak for about 5, 10, 15 minutes or so and then bring it out and rinse it. That's one way. The second way is that if you have an alkaline water uh, ionizer, which I have one here in my office as well as in my home, you can actually turn the water ionizer up all the way to pH 11.5, which is very, very alkaline and you can let your vegetables soak in there for about literally only two or three, four minutes. And when you take your vegetables out of that alkaline water, that alkaline pH is so alkaline, it actually strips off the pesticides and herbicides. So when you take your fruits and vegetables out of there, if you look back in your sink, it'll actually look like a very dirty yellow color. And that's all those pesticides and herbicides that you would have been consuming, okay? So that's number one. And then the second kind of question that uh, this particular person had that they emailed me was, if I do have to buy fruits and vegetables from a supermarket, what things can I look for so that I know, is it organic? Is it regular? How do I know the difference? Well, when you go, out, go and buy your apples, for example, or any vegetable or fruit, they're usually, they usually take those little barcodes and they stick them on there. If the barcodes start with the number four, and they're four digits long, that means it's gonna be inorganic, okay? In other words, it's gonna have more pesticides, more herbicides on there. If the barcode has a number five, it begins with a number five, and it's five digits long, um, or it's a number nine and it's five digits long, and I think, believe, I, I believe lately what they're using is number nine actually is more common. So if it's number nine in the beginning and it's five digits long, that's gonna be an organic certified fruit and vegetable and that's what you always want to get if you have to go to a supermarket okay so um, and then the fruits and vegetables that are labeled with the number eight those are going to be gmo foods genetically modified foods which you absolutely should not be buying okay there is many countries all over the world who won't even accept gmo foods anymore 
So the fact that we still have them here in the United States in, in the end of 2013 going on to 2014 is a huge problem. So again, you want to buy fruits and vegetables that are organic, preferably from a farmer's market. Absolutely do not buy GMO foods. And if you have to buy inorganic foods, uh, they're going to be four digit codes and they're going to start with uh, the number four. Okay. So again, I hope that helps you guys. If there's anything else that I can answer for you, um, let me know and I'll be happy to get back to you. Okay. Thank you.